coming back to the post has been really exciting. It's been a little nerve wracking because it's a new place. But it's a little bit like uh, coming home again, but the family has moved into a new house and your bedroom is no longer what it used to be. I'll be focused on fashion, but I'll be doing that as fashion relates to culture and the economy and of course politics. I think Michelle Obama's fashion will be a topic of conversation until she leaves the White House and possibly even after that. I mean, she is a major public figure now and will remain so. And as a result, I think people will always be interested in what she wears because she has had such an important role and also because she really changed the conversation for women in terms of what they can wear that conveys power, particularly in a conservative traditional environment. So I think that fashion in Washington is has evolved tremendously over the last decade or more. I think that there's still lots of room for continued evolution. I think it's so unfair to compare Washington to New York because it's like comparing apples to oranges. It's like saying, well, you know, what is, how does the Hollywood film industry compare to the film industry in Chicago? I mean, it just makes no sense. I mean, people dress for their market and they dress for their jobs, they dress for their community. But I think that to some degree, Washington is a more interesting place to write about fashion in the broader sense because people relate to it in so many different nuanced ways. Whereas in New York, people really relate to it primarily or fundamentally as an industry because there are so many people for whom like, that's their livelihood. Uh, the first thing I would say in dressing for hot and humid DC weather is to uh, make sure that you walk slowly and on the shady side of the street. And I am a big fan of wearing, I would say, comfortable shoes, sandals, ballet flats, not flip flops, uh, on your way to the office shoes that you would not be embarrassed to have your boss see you in. And I think that a little old-fashioned hanky works wonders for, you know, dabbing your brow.